to get us started, can we get one brave person to join us on stage? One brave person tells a story. One. Something, uh, something like a family tradition from the summer. Just anything that reminds you of summer. Anyone want to come up? We'll be really nice to you. Be very nice and gentle. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Do you have, and when you think of summer, do you, does it bring anything to mind? Any tradition your family has, or anything that sticks out that you think summer is like, oh, this? Yeah, uh, so uh, every summer, uh, my father and I uh, go fishing with one another. Um, we don't tend to do much, or, you know, me as a human being, I don't do many masculine things uh, <laughs> other than going fishing with my father. Um, it's very masculine. Apparently, uh, I'm not very good at it. Where do you go fishing? <laughs> uh, usually Cape Cod. Uh, up in Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll go fishing on a boat, and we'll also do surf casting, uh, which is where you you go um, go to a beach at like midnight and just start casting into the the ocean. Uh, we've gone over a dozen times, never caught a single thing. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's not about the fishing. It's really it's about like just getting to spend some quality time with my father and like late at night when there's no one on the beach and it's really cool out and it's just, uh, it's just you two yeah, just, the two. Man oh. Oh. just like spending time with one another. <laughs> <laughs> surf, surf casting, um, so sometimes I remember I've been to like the Outer Banks, I'd see people still there like early in the morning. Is that people who've been there all night long? Or Probably. I <laughs> I am not an expert. <laughs> I just showed up in the morning. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that everyone was having like father son get togethers and seven hours on the beach at night. Just... I'm, I'm sure there are people who just spend their lives on the beach. <laughs> just, just casting, trying to, to, to eat. Do you have any, have you ever caught anything like really big or awesome? Or... Uh, so, uh, like when, when we'll uh, like go out into a boat uh, and go like sort of deeper into the ocean, we've caught two now before, and that's pretty cool. How big? Uh, I think the biggest, um, or the, the weight, it was something like 25, uh, 25 pound tuna. Uh, Can you do that with a fishing pole? It, it's a pretty big fishing pole. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like it's the fishing pole from Jaws, right? Yes, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, a 25 pound tuna, giant shark, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> they are like the size of like. Sharks. I mean, they're, they're big. It's, yeah. It was huge. Yeah. Yeah. Do you keep them? Do you like clean them, eat them, cook them? Uh, <laughs> We eat them. Uh, we have someone else who likes it. Uh, so you have a guy. Yeah. 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 What's the most manliest thing about fishing? Um, I think uh, the manliest thing about fishing is having to um, stick your hand into the fish to, to pull the, out the hook. Yeah, or at least that, that's the part that scares me the most. <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, where, so where are the other members of your family when you so uh, I have two sisters. I have a twin sister and an older sister, uh, and, and my mother. Uh, they'll usually go to the spa as, uh, when we go fishing. And whenever I tell my mother that uh, that uh, I like I would like to go fishing with my father, she gets very upset because she has to pay for a spa day for my sisters. Sarah <laughs> twin. I'm a twin. Okay. Are you guys identical or different? <laughs> <laughs> Last question, because I'm kind of fascinated by twins. Do you feel like there's like any sort of ESP or connection you guys have, where like you don't need to say something, you just read each other's minds? Um, thing? I think that we're both terrible people, so I think that <laughs> we often have the same sense of humor, and so we don't necessarily need to tell each other like a joke, because or like we won't have to make a joke about something that's happening, and then we'll understand it. It's the same terrible thoughts about. Yeah, we have the same terrible thoughts about for the rest. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's, uh, okay. she, she's in New York. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
No, you're a terrible person. <coughs> Marlene, you're terrible. Dad, I forgot to say, I crashed the car last night. Here's the keys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, this is the exact type of thing that I'm talking about. Like, you have no respect or regard for, like, anybody or anything. All you do is shit all over me and your mother. You got a beer, too, by the way. Uh, is this because I DVR the world your shows? A remix of The Hills that was on? <laughs> is this what this is about? That's one of the things it's about. <laughs> I love The Hills! <laughs> you know I love The Hills! <laughs> I didn't love The Hills. So why would you DVR over it? Because Wendy had her shots! <laughs> she had a spin-off called The City that no one watches. It's just snub people, alright? Just smother me walking around the city. We get it, you're rich! <laughs> watching that show than you do with us. <laughs> All right, why do you think we're so bad? <laughs> well, I don't spend time with you, because frankly, I think you're a piece of shit, all right? <laughs> oh. You sound like Lauren and Whitney's boss in the hills. <laughs>
son. Yeah, that, are you a sissy boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gay, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> but Dad, I thought, I thought we got past this, all right? We're, we're out here fishing in the Outer Banks, doing manly stuff. It's just, mm -hmm. don't need to be an asshole, all right? <laughs> it's just, you know, I like, I like doing masculine things, and I want to be like, doing masculine things, you know? Dad, I can do whatever masculine stuff you want to do, all right? Uh, you want to go big wheel truck rally or gardening? I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Gardening? Sure. Like can... maybe if we're go growing like a cactus. Or something. That doesn't even make sense. Okay? <laughs> Look, it makes perfect sense, all right? Cacti. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to shoot football tickets to the Manly football game this afternoon? Uh, yeah. Like two tickets just to see the Denver Broncos. Who's with you? It's just you by yourself. Well, so oh, my dad's coming here any minute. Oh, he's so. got to be here. We need to get the tickets. The man, the tickets. Can you carry tickets? <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. All right, I have, I have money right here. I want to buy the tickets. Thank you for handing me money over before you got the tickets. But still, I can see the other person here who's going to buy the tickets with you. you. Can't just be giving out tickets to a manly event to one guy that I'm not sure. Can I talk to your manager? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. stop, 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 stop! I'm running late. Oh, thank God, Dad. This guy won't let us in until you got here. Holy shit, you're a man. Yep. <laughs> oh, holy shit. So where, uh, where are my tickets at? Let me go get them. You're like crafted out of Old Spice. Let me go get them. <laughs> holy shit. What? Hey, Gary, there's a man in here. <laughs> Why don't you come and try to buy tickets with this weak game? You gotta be master. Weak game? Guys. I came in here with money and a desire to see the game. <laughs> Tough dad, yeah. you were acting real shy. Watch this. Just let me do my thing. Hey, Jerry, where's this man you're talking about? Fucking look at Yeah. 
Yeah. And then I go down to the unemployment office. <laughs> Yo, bitches, where my check at? <laughs> That's how a real man do. I hate you. What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> what, what did you say to me? You come down to the unemployment office, what did you say to me? I said, where's my check, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> Spend time together. It's only. It's only when they're chopping 
Only when they're chopping wood or you're forced to go to the spa. Oh. <laughs> Sucks being women. <laughs> yeah. Look, are you gonna are you gonna divorce that? Excuse me? Kind of jerk and he's so manly. <laughs> I get it, but he's he's really mean to you. You you're not allowed to work. You don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I feel like you're not reacting to this. You're just kind of... I never thought of it that way. <laughs> I mean, you can... I have a driver. <laughs> it's true, you do have a driver. I guess that's better than a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if I divorced him, he'd probably take your kids. That's a good point, man. Don't make no sense. We're gonna find someone. Because I hit a man because he called me a bitch, so it make no sense. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? I thought you were, I thought you were chopping wood with Brian. I'm not chopping wood anymore. Well, it's mine. Mm. Alright, well, you know, this isn't really a manly place. I don't know if you It want. is a manly place. There's a lot of steam in here. Uh, tension's running high. That's what a spa is. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty people angry. That's what spa stands for. Sweaty people angry. Really? <laughs> How you got in here? This is, they don't allow men in here. Well, I walked in. <laughs> I said, I want to go sit in the hot box. And they pushed me out here. I thought you were chopping wood with my other son. I was chopping wood, and then he got all blicky, and I, and I had to get in here. I was angry, so I had to come to the angry box. <laughs> so you thought you were angry, and you came to the hot box to get more angry? Yes! That makes so much sense. When you get dehydrated, you get really angry. I don't think you should be here now. Let's just ground you. Now your daughter was wondering why we are divorced. And that might come to a shock. It might come as a shock. I don't... I think you're a jerk dad, okay? <laughs> I can say that, right? We're in the spa, we're in the angry hot box. Yeah, I don't like you, sweaty people. Because you're not nice to mom. Mm -hmm. Alright, and where, where is Brian? You just left him in the woods, chopping wood? Yes, I abandoned him. <laughs> Mom, come on, just abandon your son. Our son, property. <laughs> I really don't know how to respond to that. Our son's in the woods chopping wood. I'm sure he's happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go find him, alright? Nobody here is worried about Brian. I'm gonna go find him. <laughs> Instead, you wait until I'm in the hot angry box. That's, it. That's our daughter. I know she's not very feminine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for uh, coming to the beach for our first date here in the city. Yeah. Spend time with you, so. So where where'd you grow up? Uh, South Carolina, uh, Charlotte. Charlotte, South Carolina. I grew up in South Carolina, South Charlotte. Small town. Yeah. I grew up. Uh, I the only place I love to live is right here on the beach. <laughs> That's amazing. You've never left the beach, and no, this is all I know. I don't own a shirt. I like you, but I don't know if I can be with a guy who doesn't want to travel and see the world. I mean, I mean, I guess I'd be willing to travel if we just like swam to another part. <laughs> Coastlines, almost. A lot of them <laughs> have beaches. Does Charlotte, South Carolina have a beach? <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte's actually landlocked, unfortunately, but it's. Oh, wow, you're a land person. <laughs> it's really close to Charleston, South Carolina, though. It does have a beach. 
Eh, it's not the same. <laughs> you're, you're sweet, you're funny. You've obviously... Most of us beach people are. <laughs> <laughs> what happens at the end of this date? I mean, we're not going back to this is your place, right? Not, anyway. not the sandcastle. <laughs> That's amazing. I've always wanted to be like a princess, and I'm just. It's great. I really you want to go back to the sandcastle? <laughs> yeah, I mean. That was a little creepy, but sure. Yeah, we're back in the same castle. We just met. But yeah, yeah. We're just, yeah. Okay, sure. My uh, my giant stingray can come. <laughs>